Hi guys, it's Nikki, and today I have a plan with me in the, let me think, the Vertical Erin Condren, the Lux Edition, the Neutral Colorway. Goodness. Okay. Um, so I thought I would do something a little bit different, and if you guys like this, I will continue to do it. This kit is going to be released tomorrow. This is part of the new releases, but I thought it would be cool if I did a plan with me on one of the new release kits the day before and uploaded it. So if you guys like that idea, let me know, and I definitely will continue to do it. This is the Salt and Sand Deluxe Kit, and it will be available tomorrow at noon. Um, and also, this is my first time planning in the Neutral Planner, and I love it. It is really pretty. You guys will see that I do my sidebar a little bit differently this time. Um, also, I wanted to mention that this is the second time that I have planned in one of the Lux Planners, and I originally said that I wasn't a really big fan of how rigid it is, but I'm actually starting to kind of like it a little bit better than the removable covers, so just a little side note. So I went ahead and I laid down my bottom washi, and then I am going to go ahead and do my little things. Um, and this is more of a, what do I want to call it, um, it's very loosely based on my real plans for next week, but because I wanted to really show off the kit and show off some of the other things that are in it, I do put down some things that are not going to be my actual plans. I mentioned before that for right now at least, my personal planner will be the black coiled neutral planner, but I thought that this would be fun. So if you guys do like seeing one of the new release kits, um, a plan with me done in one of those the night before, let me know and I can definitely do that for you guys. I thought it would just be a kind of a cool way for you guys to see some of the new releases. So this kit will be available in the deluxe version as well as the mini kit tomorrow and then the other new release will be the mermaid mini kit and I will have a new release video up for you guys tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of my to-do headers and then I'm going to go ahead and do my ombre checklist. I also probably should have mentioned that this kit is on just the matte paper. Um, I had, and this is actually an oops kit as well, but I had a glossy one printed that I was going to use for myself, and then I decided that I would just go ahead and do the matte. Also, because this is an oops kit, and you guys will maybe see me point it out, I'm not sure if it'll pick up since I am speeding through it. This one did have two next week headers on it, but I did pull the other one that I was going to use to show you guys that it has been changed, and there is a this week and a next week header instead of two next week headers. Also, the watermelon kits will be available tomorrow. Actually, they might be up now in the um, the proper format. I did the oops ones for Wednesday this past week, and I have stocked some of the non-oops watermelon kits, so if you guys are interested in those. So I went ahead and did my date covers on the top. I'm in love with this brushed gold. I think it is so, so pretty. Um, but I also, like, I almost didn't want to even cover the top with date covers because the neutral planner is just so beautiful, and I love seeing the font on it, but you guys will see what I did with my sidebar. I did leave the, um, the June kind of open so that it was still visible. So I did go ahead and put down my full boxes, and I did these kind of strategically. I was trying to do the washi the way I wanted to match with the full boxes, if that kind of makes sense. But I ended up messing it up anyway, and it didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. But I was trying to kind of space out the colors a little bit. Um, this is a very blue kit. That's why I ended up doing the gold with it. I thought it was really pretty. Um, and it is like a metallic-y, like almost brushed metal gold, but it's very, very pretty. You guys will be able to see it up close in the new release video. Super excited about this kit. I actually made this kit because we were going to be going to the beach next week. And I wanted to do like a beachy spread, but it turns out we're actually not going. Um, so the shop will not be closing. I had originally said that we would probably be closing at least for a couple of days while we were gone, but that's not happening now. Um, and next week is going to be a super, super intense work week for me. I'm going to try my best to have like four new deluxe kits um, listed on Friday. And actually a couple of them will be reformats and then a couple will be brand new kits, but... I'm going to try really hard to get all of those stocked in time. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try. Um, I was looking the other day, and the shop is so empty where everything is sold out or the reformats, like, have sold out. And it just kind of depresses me, so I want to get some stock back in the shop. So I did go ahead and do my half boxes, and here I'm going to do my sidebar. So I did take the quote box that is in this kit, um, and it says, Salt in the air, sand in my hair, and I thought it was really cute. And I just laid it right underneath the June font right there. I didn't want to cover it. It was just so pretty. 
Um, but then I wasn't able to fit everything that I would normally put here. So I did do a work header and a habit tracker, a next week header, oh, goodness, a next week header and a habit tracker. And then I just did one of the baby habit trackers and then a piece of washi down at the bottom. Normally I would put an ombre checklist over on my sidebar and I'm not too sure how well that's going to work for me in my actual personal planner. I may actually have to cover up some of that June area, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to go in, I'm going to stick down some flags, I'm going to put my bill due on Monday, I'm going to do a to go on Tuesday, a to buy on Thursday, and then I'm going to take a couple of appointment labels, and then I'm going to also do some of these script icons, so I have a happy meal on Tuesday, I ended up doing, let me think, a me time on Monday, a movie night on Friday, a workout on Sunday, and a relax on Thursday, and then I just went ahead and put down some icons, and you guys, I'm so in love with this kit right now. I think it's the gold, like the gold just does it for me. So, so in love with the gold. Um, but I did, because it is a somewhat mock spread, I did try to use a ton of stuff so that you guys could see. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have left over. There are still a good bit of stickers left over. I know that these kits have a lot in them. Um, but that is everything that is left over and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.